Hey guys, do you wanna know how to create this type of 3D bottle animations in Figma? Then watch this tutorial and by the end you will learn how to do it. Let's go! First of all, in Figma we need to create artboards. For this we'll create a desktop artboard, you can use the F key on your keyboard and let's assign some background color to it. I have a bunch of assets added here. You can download them on the internet and uh, put whatever you like. I will show you how to use it. So first of all, let's create our navbar menu and the logo, the cart button and some menu items. Let's quickly create a bunch of them. Align everything using Auto Layout with Shift A. Good. And for the card button, let's give some number at the top, indicating how many items are in the card. Now let's put the bottle in the middle of the screen. Some grapes and some other elements that will make this scene look beautiful. We don't need the white grapes at the moment, so we put them away from the screen. One crucial thing to add here is that all the layers that appear and disappear, they should have the same names on both screens. That's how they will be animated properly. And the bottle opener, we don't need it as well on this screen. And now the important part, how to put the label on your bottle. So this bottle I downloaded from uh, internet, from the website called freepick.com. If I open this uh, group, this frame with the bottle, I can see the structure. So I will, I will need to put the label into the mask uh, group and let's make it perfectly aligned to the mask. The very important thing is to give this layer a multiply overlay. And let's tweak the mask layer to fit the bottle, because it went a bit outside of the bottle. Let's call it bottle dark, move it a bit up and here I will paste this box with the text and the button, also created before, so we don't spend time on it right now. Now it's time for a circle, which will place behind the bottle. give it a color let's put it a bit closer to the edges nice and move the grapes as well duplicate the entire frame change the colors Great. And let's put the second label to the second bottle. Resize it. And duplicate the bottle. 
change the color of the bottle top. And let's replace the label simply with command X and command shift R. We need to change the blending mode to multiply, same as on the first bottle. And put it in the center. Now put the dark bottle to the side and let's move the label this way so it's turned with its other side to us. Copy the second bottle to the first screen, put it here and change the label this way. Put the bottle to the side and outside of the screen space. Now let's move away some other elements and move into the screen the grapes that fit this type of wine. Move the cork away and move the bottle opener into the screen and rotate it. Oh, we forgot to put the controls. Let's put these arrow buttons to left and right. Cool. This will be our controls to change the screens. Copy and put it on the first screen. And now the animation. Let's go into prototype mode. Let's take this node and drag it so we have an arrow pointing to the other screen. So it's very important to change the animation type to Smart Animate here, to have it on click and to have value about 1500 milliseconds. They also changed the easing mode here from Linear to Custom Bezier and slightly tweaked the curve as you can see it on the screen. The same values we need to assign to other arrow button. Ok, it's time to check the result. Oof, wonderful! Look how smooth! Hit the like button if you like the result, subscribe for more tutorials and see you in the next one!